Hello ladies and germs. Ultimate fall here. I'm a little bit winded because I'm just a few blocks from my place here in Oshelaga. This is actually the first ride of the year. I got turned off from uh, doing anything earlier because I had thrown my back out for probably almost a month. And of course the pericarditis comes back here. And actually pericarditis got on my ass. Uh, was it Friday? I think it was. Man, like the whole day I'd, I didn't even go out practically. I just, oh. Anyway, if you ever had that, you know what I mean. So, uh, due to financial constraints, which have not improved, um, yeah, I had listed my Schwinn here for sale not long ago, actually. Uh, I don't know, maybe a few weeks ago on Marketplace. And, uh, yeah, I still have it. I just didn't have anybody serious. And uh, I figured, you know what, I should make a video about this because... Hey, there's nothing like a video to actually sell something, especially if it needs explaining. And I'm going to stop here because there's a lady coming with her dog. Beautiful dog. But a very long leash. <laughs> very long leash. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, well, like I was saying, uh, okay, now I'm my whole thing. Yeah, so that's the thing. There's certain things in life, like cars, for example, it's much better nowadays if you can do a video, because then you can show any kind of faults and explain and, you know, history and all that stuff. So, uh, today, by the way, is the second day of June, uh, 2024. Man, I'm so tapped right now. All the money I have, I'm saving to pay the rent. That's going to be late, and uh, I can't even buy a bus pass right now. So, you see why I made those, those videos recently of, you know offering my old drawings and uh, my recent paintings enough for sale you know but that's not working so anywho oh and by the way this is where i film a lot of my trucking uh, videos eh here it is uh rue notre dame there which becomes highway 20 down there so here's a story with this bike okay man you see they didn't mow any of this here right and it's there's a good reason for that is because people were setting up tents here like in a lot of places so they're not gonna have people nobody's gonna pitch up a tent here Look at this guy. Oh, wait, was he? Was he? That's it. I'm clocking you there. Anyway, nobody's going to pitch a tent in here where you could risk getting Lyme disease. That's why I'm not too keen on being here too long. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, restored. Had, this was restored. Let me see. When was it again? God, I don't remember anymore. I think it was eight years ago in the plateau. At JC Bicyclette by Jamie, uh, who's been in the business for, I don't know, over 30 years, I think. Uh, and I bought this bike. It was a piece of junk. Literally everything was rust on thing. The frame was rusted, the handlebars, the wheels. So actually, Jamie, what he did, because the handlebars were so rusted and the wheels too, he replaced them. I wanted him to keep it, the bike as much original as possible. So the frame was sandblasted. It was repainted. This is an aftermarket tank, right? The button broke off. It's supposed to be a horn in there. But the button broke. The fenders are original, that's why they're dull. The seat is original, that's why they're dull. That's why the seat isn't great, it's original. The handle grips are original. Believe it or not, just these alone are worth a few bucks. So in other words, this bike is worth more in pieces. The uh, The crank is original, the chain guard is original. I, uh, the pedals, I got rid of them because they were literally like, the rubber was just flat. Like you would put your feet on there and just slide off. Tires are still in good shape. I only rode it actually last year. I think once or twice. It's funny because I had forgotten that I bought a lock for it. That's the funny thing about it. And uh, so now I got a lock on this bike and my other one, my Roll Fest, which I thought about selling that as well. So you're not, if you're interested in this, like, look, it cost me, it cost me 900 bucks to restore this bike. So I'm never going to get that, you know. I'd be happy with 500. Would I take less? I don't think so. Uh, but obviously this is for one of you guys that's a fan, you know, and uh, you love the videos that I do and the content I bring with you in a positive manner, even though I bitch and complain about things. But they're basically buying a piece of me, you know, and uh, it's kind of a reluctant sale, you know, like, but again, after having rode it for so many years, it's showing a bit of wear, you know. And, uh, but again, oh yeah, and I had Jamie add the, uh, the Stummy Archer uh, into a speed bike, so it's a three-speed bike, of course, well, before that, it was just a pedal bike like the Roll Fest, which isn't great. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is a nice touch right here, a eh? part of the original seat here, this little chrome piece. And uh, I'm so glad I took the bike out of the, my basement because that's where it sleeps the whole time is in the basement. And uh, <laughs> and I've forgotten that I bought a lock for this thing last year. I thought that my other lock was only on the Roll Fest at my parents' place in Lachine. 
so oh yeah and it doesn't have a light in the back so anyway so again this is one of those things where you know it, it you know it, it depends on what you think the value is you know what I mean? like guys oh, there enough white cars here look at this Jesus Murphy so but uh, you know it's worth more or less you know what I mean like it's just one of those things so so I don't know where I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for a good ride and as again I'm I'm glad I bought that lock. I must have bought that in July or August. I don't know. But uh, anyway, you can get in touch with me uh, at uh, Elton McFall at hotmail.com. Elton McFall at hotmail.com or 514 598 1773. You can call or text. and Or you can find me on Facebook too. That's fine. And uh, there you go. It, uh, oh, by the way, yes, of course. This is a. Uh, uh, now, even for. It's funny because I look a little funny on this thing because I'm six foot three, you know? Hang on. Let me see if I can get myself sitting in this thing you're sitting on this thing so i look a little weird because i'm so tall i'm six foot three but because somebody actually asked me that question this week they're like oh is it uh, good for tall people of course they didn't get back to me people are just they just waste your time they're not serious at all all right well anyway i'm gonna take a little run and uh that's what i need right now because i'm feeling really blue these days for a lot of reasons let alone inflation ways the way the way life is today and uh anyway that's it guys so thanks for watching take it easy bye bye